All right, hello and welcome to another Mr. Pisto Plays Magic the Gathering Arena Brawl Session Deck Tech Gameplay and Post Game. All right, so our creature of choice today is Koma Cosmos Serpent, another of the brand new legendary creatures from Kaldheim. It's a seven mana, six, six. Can't be countered. You create a three, three blue serpent creature token named Koma's Coil. At the beginning of each upkeep and you can sacrifice another serpent choose one tap target permanent its activated abilities can't be activated this turn and coma cosmo serpent gains indestructible until the end of turn all right we got a bunch of new cards this is one of the win conditions obviously not your commander isn't always the win condition but in this specific deck cosma or coma is one of the win conditions We'll go through the new cards. We'll go through ramp in this case and interaction and some other role players. And then we'll get into a game. Got a decent amount of new cards in this one. So we have Blizzard Brawl is a one mana snow sorcery. So we're playing Snowlands. Choose target creature you control and target creature you don't control. If you control three or more snow permanents, the creature you control gets plus one plus all and gains indestructible until the end of turn. Those creatures fight each other. So the indestructible and the plus one plus O oh are the reason why we're playing this. Sculptor of Winter goes into the ramp aspect of the deck. You can untap, target, snow, land, and it actually fits very well with two of the enchantments in the deck we're going to skip over. So Glittering Frost is a three mana enchant land. Enchant land is snow. Whenever enchanted land is tapped for mana, its controller adds an additional one mana of any color. Another card it fits very well with is the Wolf Willow Haven. Enchant land. Whenever enchanted land is tapped for mana, its controller adds an additional green. And you can pay five to sacrifice this to get a 2-2 token. Probably not going to happen too much. But this makes it so that you can untap those enchanted lands and get extra mana from them we have cosmina or cosima god of the voyage and the almond keel it's a three mana two four and at the beginning of your upkeep you can exile cosima and if you do it gains whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control cosima is exiled you may put a voyage counter on it if you don't return it to the battlefield with x one one counters on it and draw x cards where x is the number of voyage counters so we're playing lots of lands we're ramping to being able to get this out for plus three or plus four one one counters and draw those cards is really good the only keel in a pinch is a three man or two mana three three vehicle with crew one and whenever a vehicle you control does combat damage to a player that player exiles that many cards from the top of their library you may play cards from among those cards or play land cards from among those as long as they remain exile in a pinch maybe late game when we're not getting lands anymore the omen keel could come into play we have the replicating ring three mana tap stat any mana of any color that mana is snow color at the beginning of the upkeep you put a replicating counter on it if you have eight counters you remove them and you get eight colorless snow artifact tokens named replicating ring Another new card, Behold the Multiverse, four mana to scry two, draw two, or you could do two installments, two colorless to foretell, and then a blue and a colorless to cast it for its foretell cost, and you get the same effect. So you can do it all at once, later in the game, or early game, you can play it, and then boom. Canopy Tactician, four mana, three, three, elf warrior. Your other elves get plus one, plus one. And I think that only has like one, maybe two things that it affects, but it taps for three green mana. So you play this on four. Next turn, as long as it survives, you can cast Cosima as long as you have the two blue. It's one of the cards that you have to craft. You don't get it in the packs. Another reason to play Snow, Graven Lore. This card, you can dig eight deep to find what you need to find. You get to scry five if you have five snow mana, or you scry X or X is the amount of snow spent to cast a spell, and then draw three cards. Battle Mammoth. I wanted to try this over the Greater Gargadon. I didn't have, like, there were so many certain slots that you could play with, and I wanted to try this one. 5 mana, 6, 5. And it has Trample. Whenever a permanent you control becomes a target of spell or ability and opponent controls, you may draw a card. Usually you're only drawing one because they're targeting this to get rid of it. But uh, 
yeah and it has foretell so you can pay two colorless and then on turn four you can have a six five trampler that has these abilities pretty not so cuckoo we are playing Vorinclex Monstrous Raider. There are some 1 1 counter synergies in the deck, Replicating Ring as well. Um, but I put it in here more for what it does to your opponents. So for you, if one or more counters or 1 1 counters were put onto something, double that instead. For your opponent, you half them rounded down. So if they were to put one on half, they put nothing on. So. If they put two, they put one. If they put three, they put one that's rounded down. I think that's how that works. But anyways, six, six for six, trample haste, pretty beefy. Then we have Alrun's Epiphany. Taking extra turns is fun. For seven mana, you get two, one, one blue bird creature tokens with flying. Take an extra turn after this one and exile it. But you could also foretell for two colorless and then cast it for six. That's pretty solid. Cyclone Summoner, because we're ramping so hard and a lot of our ramp is um, not necessarily creature-based, we can cast this and maybe tap extra mana because we hopefully will have a bunch more mana when we cast it so we can bounce all their things, replay our mana dork so we can have another big turn following. It's a 7 mana, 7-7, seven, seven, and when it enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, return all permanents to their owner's hands except giants, wizards, and lands. So if they have giants and wizards, it's not so good. But uh, for the most part, those are you'll see them every once in a while. And yeah, it's just a big giant wizard. <laughs> all right. We have a bunch of ramp gilded goose. These are all cards you've seen in the past. Gilded goose, Legion Karyatid, Lotus Cobra, Willow ha Wolf Willow Haven, Maraleaf Pixie. Arcane Signet, Cultivate, Plady Amir, Skyclave Relic, Migration Path, Vastward Surge, Solemn Simulacrum, Beanstalk Giant, and the Great Henge. All ways to ramp in Tacoma. This is more late game ramp, but the rest of it, pretty solid early stuff. So, you think I missed anything? Comments in the comments below. Like, subscribe, notify. Let's get into some interaction. We interact with, the po with our opponent through heroic intervention by making all your permanents hexproof and indestructible. The indestructible is key. Ram through instant speed, dealing damage. And if it has trample, it goes through and deals the excess to the opponent. Wilt to get rid of enchantments or artifacts. Also to draw a card if you don't need it. Whirlwind denial. Uh... You can counter abilities with this, which I think is pretty cool. So for each spell and ability your opponent's control, counter it unless its controller pays four. So if they have an ability on the stack and they cast something, they have to pick which one they want to go off. Raise and borrow or to return a target. Now that I'm permanent, an opponent controls to its owner's hand. It's also a 3-1 flyer that can only block creatures with flying. Colony ambush. Fight at instant speed. Also a land. Sublime epiphany. Does a lot of things. You can counter a spell, counter an activated or triggered ability, return target nonline permanent to its owner's hand, create a token that's a copy of target creature you control, draw a card. Ooh, lots of things. And our last pile is this stuff. Anticipate drawing cards. You look at the top three, put one in your hand. Garuk's Uprising to give coma and all its serpents trample. Uro, situational. Ramp, if you have an extra land in hand, great. If not, it does a bunch of things. Renata, Call of the Hunt. Make all your serpents three threes instead of two, or four fours instead of three threes. Big difference. Kogla, a big fighting creature that destroys artifacts and enchantments. Tyrant Timber Symbiosis. Looking at the top three or top seven cards, putting something into the battlefield with one one counters if it's three or less. Convert a mana cost. And the lands, Shimmer Veil, or Shimmer Drift Veil, Faceless Haven, two new ones, another new one, Rhymewood Falls, five islands, eight forests, the new pathway, the new copy land, which is kind of cool, and Command Tower, Fable Passage. All right, that's the deck. Let's get into some 
games. All right, Athena Pink, Vivian Monsters Advocate. Um, um, ooh. Opponent goes first. We got some draw steps to find some lands. Let's do it. Let's do it, do it. Mono green. I'm not too worried. Though we do need to find some blue. Blue mana would be very nice. Mm -hmm. The Lotus Cobra. Okay. We need to and do this blue. What's the best? How do we get the most amount of land out of this? Bastard Surge creates two. Cultivate creates one. I think we need a surge. Blue, blue. Green. And I think we get the Omen Keel down. Put the Omen Keel in front of the Questing Beast bus. Or do we just take four? I think we just take four. Are we... Screw it up. All right. Stop the questing beast from attacking. All right, we Shimmer Veil on blue. Mm. Cultivate. Yes. Let's get green, blue. Put this one into play. We will play this one. And then next. Next and turn. Here comes Coma. Okay. Give your questing beast hex. That's just fine. Mm hmm. Stuff is happening. Every day is a new. My question is, is can we outlast this? Land. Coma. This is going to be important. Oh, I should have gotten the blocks first. Oops. This is going to go here. This is here. And take nine. Maybe more. Do they have a plus one plus one hex proof? Sure. Survives. All right. Just 
Diversity is our greatest strength. They're top decking. Not anymore. Oh, protection from multicolored. This helps us not. Warren Clex would be nice. One, two, three. I guess I can. Yes. Put it here. No. Have we stabilized? The more the hairier. Why? Oh, you can cast off the top of your deck. What do you get for four? This goes here, this goes here, this goes here, this goes here. Lock here, and I can take three, I think. Well, let's start drawing cards. I guess we should have played this first. Ram through. One, two have enough this can dig us to a land we have ram through there yeah let's do that two lands we got food right vigilance vigilance hmm Make another serpent. Lead the stampede. Sure. A beetle. Hmm. <laughs> two, two. Now. Question is Hmm 
Could use these to tap everything, but then that would be suiciding something. Ram through this. This gets pretty big pretty quick. Wait. It won't get. Yeah, it's not gonna get anything. That's okay. You get no counters. He gets no counters. I'd like you to meet my friend, Stompy. Mm hmm. We are in somewhat of a stalemate. Now they're just probably waiting to get trampled. Why? I need to keep more Clex. This is blocks this for days. And we pass the turn. Why lands? Why? Six, ten, two, four. Yeah, we do this. This kills this. Now they only do seven. Gonna have to start pecking away at them in the air, I think. Beanstalk giant coming in as a 10 10. Mm -hmm. Every day is a new mutation. I have no fear of block. No, no, no. Pass. All right, so I could tap this down, tap this down, tap this down. So this goes under that bus. Eight, nine, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I can do it with that. Um, I have nothing to fear blocking there. Tap there. All right, cool. We got there. We got there. All right. Let's do another game. All right. I'm a dirty smurf. Femia. This is a mulligan. This is a keep. Mono black. Or green. Mm 
Mm-hmm. We'll play this into this here. I doubt this hangs around, but you never know. You never know. So you exile an enchantment card from your graveyard to make a 2-2 two -two zombie. Play this. This. I'm just guessing bye-bye, Plady Mirror. Oh, Lightning Mirror survives. That's not good for them. We get a turn four Cosma. Pretty solid. Do you have exile effects? Or two bells i think i like the omen kill in this deck although okay that's a thing You get tapped down until I can deal with you. And I can deal with you. Could have probably tapped better to play these but hey we got two damage in we are in some ways racing against mono black i don't know if they can deal with both Kog kogla and coma Okay. We can do 14 next turn. I guess they're most worried about the artifact destruction. Interesting choice. One black. Mm hmm. We're gonna get it for 12 next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. This wins us the game next turn. And then I think we play the flyer and we bash for 12. I don't know about this choice. It was you're in between a rock and a hard place, really. Like there was no good decision there. Now, do they have board wipe? That would be something. Exile all odd. I think these are even. I could go tap, 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 and give them like. What, 
Three, two mana. Sure. What do you get back? Sure. Okay. I don't even think I'm going to have to cast this. Okay. One top, one bottom. Okay, I sh Activate it. Hmm. Nope, uh, we'll, we'll go to my turn. I will draw a card. I'm going to sacrifice this. I don't want indestructible. Uh, tap target permanent. This one. Sacrifice this guy. This one. Mm hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. No, this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for funsies, we'll cast this. Oh, all right. Game over. On to the next one. All right, big boy 01. Playing Nico Eris. Uh, we can keep this. One into two, depending on what we draw. Three. Multiverse. Or this is probably going to be two. No, that's going to be two. Uh, two. We can shock or triple then this into this depending on what we draw it's a good one i'd like to draw that huh one two What's better here? Frost? Glittering Frost or Sky Relic? Doesn't matter what color we make. One, two, three. This taps for two. Which can't get that. One, two, three. Two. Can't do that. Um, this is harder to remove. And we'll do that. And we'll get in there. But this is not necessarily good for us. We need a land. One, two, three, four, five. Not where are you? I guess that's the end of that. Oh, this would have been the perfect land. Mm -hmm. Go get a and it's full of this color. One, two, three. Yeah. Huh? Land, land. Is that what we want? Yeah. Can use all the land we can get. Interesting that he didn't exile this. Or she. Land gives us coma next turn. Nico Ars for one? Hmm. 
Hmm, that's kind of fun. So return Skyclave and play it again. Greatest shard is probably best. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we have to do this and get our beats on. They have a trigger if they want to use something to it. Bounce it. I get the 3-3 three, three regardless of what you do. In my hand. Start drawing things, create another shard. Come on, stay sharp. Back two of them to draw two. Scry one, draw one. Counter this, that's not good. Mm hmm. One on top. Yeah. By all means. Being a hero is harder than I thought. You want to tap out for that again? Go for it. I guess enchantments like Frogify and stuff really mess with Coma. Indestructible. You tap it. Nothing. I'm wide open now. Mm, this into this. Into guess this. Coming in hot. Now we get to live the dream of four fours. Faith fetters. Hmm. That's a thing. Activated abilities can't be activated. Sure. Sure. Still get to make dudes. 
Um, let's start with drawing a card. Uh, and one, two, here. I'm not going to overextend. That would not be a good idea. Sure. Shh. No. All right, got there. Yay. Cool. Deck is doing what it's supposed to do. All right, Nico Eris. Thanks for the game. And we'll get into one more. All right, Ranger Fernan. With Rada, we have cards, we have spells, we have ramp, this on blue. a beetle all right one two three get a blue and and the turn we weren't gonna block anyways This little dude. Right, land. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yep. One, two, three. This time my math works. All right. Here comes Coma. Battle driver. And next, no attack. We can whirlwind denial something. Something big, maybe. Or even just their commander. Or not. See? Ramp City, juiced up and ready. All right. Let's do one more. We got a quick one in there. Yep. Mm hmm. Toski, Bearer of Secrets. This is a fun deck. You can see it on my channel. Look in the cards above. We played it uh, at the close to the beginning of the set release. As long as they don't blow up this on turn two, we'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, find a land. Probably. Or a ramp creature. Lotus Cobra, you are a little late to the party, my friend. Unless I draw land. If I draw land, then we're, things are happening. Blue, green. That 
fights there. Things are happening. One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost. Green. Blue. Mm, I want to do this. Although Oro, Oro, no, I want to do this. I want to stock our hand. That's what I would like to do. I would like to stack our hand up pretty good. Mm -hmm. Let's scry five. Um, I like this. I like this. I want a land. Don't need the faceless haven. I don't think. All right, we want those. <laughs> hey, there's my phone's alarm for some reason. And uh, we get a blue and we play a coma. And we untappy tappy multiverse and say go. Let's see what they do. They scoop. There again. Coma doing what Coma's gonna do. It's too bad they mulliganed, but uh, and they didn't have any early plays, but you got to see the interactions that kill spell, the fight spell that makes things indestructible is super good with snowlands. All right, let's get into a post game. All right, Coma Cosmos Serpent. We got to see what it does. What the deck kind of wants to do this is i think is a good starting point um you could there's lots of different choices of big creatures that you could choose to play in the deck i think the wrap package is kind of where we want it to be uh sculptor the winter with these glittering frost and there are you wolf willow haven i think is a really good package you could play some different artifact removal with like other than wilt or kogla destroy artifact you could run dashing brontodon or you could even run a steel bean hydra because you're generating so much mana it could be pretty big and with voran collects those counters could come into play quite often you could run something like gem razor there are more planeswalkers. You could run Ugin. I didn't want to because then it would just be, oh, we're going to jam Ugin into every single deck we play. Of course, it's probably the best card. I think it's the best card in Brawl by a long shot. You could pretty much play it in anything unless you're playing hyper aggro. Something we could con consider as Vivian Monsters Advocate. I didn't put it in here. I wanted to play some of the new cards at the higher end. But uh, Vivian is definitely something you could play. You could probably play Jace to start whipping through your deck. Um, you could play Garrick. I think it's okay. I think Questing Beast is also something that you could consider playing in the four slot. I focused heavily on Ramp City with the uh, Basswood Surge Migration Path and the canopy tactician getting this down early means you can play turn easily turn four coma can come out one drop two drop two drop two drop three drop or this you could play this on three and then bam you have coma so the deck is simic ramp and uh yeah there's lots of other things you could do I think this is a good jumping point. If you don't have all the mythics and rares, you want to do some uncommon shenanigans. Just do this and this. 
There are lots of big things in uh, in uncommon that you could play. The frilled serpent it gets into or gets uh, unblockable. This card I think is pretty strong and could be played. You could play a mutate style of deck around Cosmo. Most a lot of the blue and green mutate cards are really good. The waker of waves I think is really good. The keeper of fables is very good card draw in non-blue card draw is pretty cool lots of big flashy return you could play a tempo style where you return things lots of good big uncommon creatures this card's kind of cool but yeah you could run well you could miss out on that great henge and battle mammoth and a lot of the mythics in the deck and still coma could be a very viable deck a lot of the deck is uncommons and commons so there you have it that's coma cosmos serpent thanks for watching have a wonderful morning evening afternoon or night wherever you are in the world i'm mr pisto bye for now